Good evening to all. So, what you talked in the last lecture? Beta, what you talked in the last lecture? Sir, you taught us the long method and gave various definitions. Okay, then. So, but, uh, in last lecture, I will discuss physical meaning, mathematical meaning, and geometrical meaning. Okay. So, today, we have just discussed one important point here. This is the observation This is the observation One. Okay. So let Y is equal to FX. Is a given function, then it's then it's derivative with respect to x, then it's derivative with respect to x. can be can be given as d by one dx. Okay, so you can also write as like as that. Okay, this is also equal to limit extending towards zero f of x plus h minus the fx <coughs> upon k h okay okay beta so let's suppose some simple changes let's say this is s let's say this is let's say delta x delta x tending to zero so simply beta f of x plus delta x minus fx divided by divided by delta x. So basically guys, just to observe the situation. So what is the my motto is, let's suppose beta, this is the curve. Let's say, let's suppose, Let's say this is the curve y is equal to fx. Okay. Let's suppose this is the curve y is equal to fx. Got it? And one important thing is that here, right? let's say this is point A, this is point B. So, beta, let's say this is called, let's say, this is called x let's say this is called, let's say beta, this is 
x plus delta x. So guys, just let me know one important thing here. What is the distance between this plane? What is the length of this plane? What is the, this length is what? This length is simply delta x. Okay. Okay, now. And let's suppose, let's suppose guys, this is, let's say guys, from this thing, let's suppose, this length is, this length is what? This length is what? Beta, this length is what? Let's say, this length is fx, fx, and let's assume, let's say, this length is up to this length is what? This length is what? This is beta f of x plus delta x. I think beta this length is what? This length is simply this length is simply what? This length is simply delta y. Okay. Oh, this is delta y, but this length is delta y, no? This length. Okay. So, but delta y means what? Sir, this is the changes. Okay. But, del, but x plus delta y2 minus y1. y2 minus y1. Okay, now. This is the better change in y. This length is better. How to calculate this length? The difference of y. Change in y. So, but this length is what? So, this is equal to limit delta x tending to 0. This is delta y, okay, upon delta x, delta x. This is delta y upon delta x. So, guys, how is the delta y? So, this is simply change in y. So, change in y is represented as delta y. Okay, so beta, this is delta y by delta x is y. So this is simply, this is beta simply average, average rate of change of y with respect to x. But whenever delta x tending to zero, this is finally what? This is instantaneous. Instantaneous a rate of change of y with respect to x. And this is also equals to beta. This is also equals to f plus x. Okay. And this is equals to differentiation of y. So that is the final explanation. This is the final explanation. So basically, let the y is equal to fx is a given function. Then it's derivative with respect to x. Then this derivative with respect to x can be given as dy by dx. And you can simply say beta. You can simply say differentiation of fx with respect to x. Okay. Simply differentiation of fx with respect to x. Yeah, limit s tending to zero, f of x plus s minus fx upon s. Okay. Yeah, limit delta x tending to zero. So we have to consider different different manner of position here and then we got This is clear, Abita? Any doubt? Beta, this is clear now. Yes, sir. Okay. One important thing. Differentiation of this thing is also, you can also 
identity indicates matlab that is the capital d something so this is the representation of differentiation okay now so note number 1 not one is not one is to find to find derivative of a function to find derivative of a function Function by by evaluating by evaluating the limit the limit given given in one is called. is called first first principle or av initio av initio but one is this one one is this one okay this is called av initio okay note number 2 this is called differential operator this is called differential operator of first order with respect to x okay Note number two: Delta y upon delta x is average average rate of change, average rate change of y, change of y. With respect to x, when when x is when x is when x is when x is changed. by the by the quantity delta x delta x and and limit delta x tending to zero delta y upon delta x is instantaneous In instant, ten years, a rate of change of y with respect to x, with respect to x. So I think, so guys, uh, this is clear to all. Any doubt here? Any switch? Okay. that is the fundamental observation about the differentiation okay this is the point number 3 so guys point number 1 is that to find the derivative of a function by evaluating the limit given in equation 1 given in note number 
is called first principle or ab initio or you can also say delta method okay guys this is also called also called delta method okay delta method second thing is that the differentiation of something is equal to dx of dx of something and this is called differential operator of first order with respect to x okay first order differentiation that is first order differences note number three is that the delta y upon delta x is average rate of change of y with respect to x when x is changed by the quantity delta x so i think no need of any explanation here simply x changed by the delta x so simply and limit extending to zero delta y by delta x is instantaneous rate of change of y with respect to x sound right delta extending to zero means what the delta extending to zero means he actually guys i'm just i'm just uh, introducing this thing for a minute so it is note number 4 is that note number 4 this is dy by dx also gives slope of tangent dy dx also gives you the slope of tangent I already discussed with you note 5 beta d alpha upon d beta is also equals to limit delta beta tending to zero delta alpha upon delta beta okay this is clear now this is clear note number 6 simply beta dy by dx is equal to limit delta x tending to zero delta y upon delta x okay okay guys just consider one important thing let's say guys Let's say this is the curve. Let's say this is the curve. Y is equal to f x, and we observe some important point A and another point B. This is A, and this is B. So, my dear student, this is. okay so this is the perpendicular perpendicular to each other okay so beta this length uh, this is beta this is what this is beta this is this is delta x and this is this is delta y so guys uh, my dear student one important thing is that let's suppose delta x tending to zero guys delta x tending to zero what is the meaning here But delta x is tending to zero. It means totally clear that sir, delta b, delta y, also tending to zero. Okay. When if we just just consider, when we just beta close the just beta simply, delta x very tending to zero. Any beta tending to zero. This point is also beta here. Okay. At one time beta, this point is totally. Totally overlap the point A.
one minute. It's very difficult to make sir. Okay. So this is clear to me. Okay. So I think delta x tending to zero, so delta y tending to zero. So I think this is clear to all. So remember the delta x tending to zero is what delta y tending to zero. So my dear student, this is one important thing. Let's say, by guys, three into guys one minute three by two. Let's suppose. Let's suppose three by two. So, but a three by two is also written as three into one by two. Any problem? Any problem? No problem because but a delta y upon delta x is a ratio. Okay, so so this is ratio or not? But this is not a ratio. But d by dx is operator. We have to never block the d. Another way, d is another way, and d is another way. Never. This is never happen. Yeah, but so delta y upon delta x is a ratio, and you can also break separately. So my dear student, one important thing is that here. So three by two is also written as three upon one by two. So this quantity is also written as. Let's say this is delta x tending to zero. This is also written as one upon delta x upon delta y. Effectively, this is nothing. This is this is similar to this. Okay, any doubt? No, sir. No, no. So guys, whenever delta x tending to zero, it's totally clear that delta y also tending to zero. So means what? So sir, means one thing is also clear from here. So sir, here limit delta y tending to zero one upon delta x upon delta y. That is clear, na? Guys, as as we also write here as if dy by dx exists, then limit delta x tending to zero, delta y upon delta x must must also exist exist for which delta y tending to zero. Okay, this is explanation for that one. So guys, this is also clearly in limit, but this is also equals to you can also write in that in that way. These are one upon limit delta y tending to zero. Delta x upon delta y. Yes, no problem. We can also write sure. So, guys, whenever limit delta y tending to zero, delta x upon delta y that is equals to dy upon dx. Okay. How? Are you better? Simple explanation. Delta y upon delta x. Delta x tending to zero that is equal to dy by dx. Okay. So delta y tending to zero. Delta y tending to zero, delta x upon delta y is also equals to d is also equals to delta is also equals to dx by dy. No, sorry, dx by dy is also equals to dx by dy. Dx by dy. Okay. So guys. What you observe from here, sir? We observe, is sir. Dy by dx is inversely inversal of, matlab, reciprocal of dx upon dy. So you guys also think, sir, why writing this such thing here? This is simply reciprocal form. No beta. I am not all. Okay, I am not a all. Okay, I am a people. So I not a make pull to you. 
actually i'm just giving the proper explanation because no one teacher give the proper explanation in this thing 90% teacher are better take in this field okay so no have the idea to how to determine the things from the basic to advanced level so simply better d y dx is reciprocal to dx by dy how this is possible so better this is the explanation and almost two to three times it j advanced ask a simple application based question in it j advanced level okay so beta d by dx d by dx is nothing is simple d by dx from here d by dx into dx by dy that is equal to 1 that is equal to 1 okay that is equal to 1 so that is the important observation in front of you we shall discuss okay okay now so guys uh, just to observe the statement and to observe the manipulation and have any doubts just ask to me first of all observe this explanation because that is very important thing beta okay and that is very important concept also okay beta any doubt sir yes so that means x tends to 0 it's any value which is either greater than 0 or less than 0 right any value less than 0 what one sorry x tending to Sir, x tends to zero means that any variable which is either less than zero or more than zero, right? Any number. Yes, but the x is tending to zero means that one minute. But the x is let's suppose h h number. But h h h is tending to zero means the h is not exactly zero. H is not exactly zero, but the H is and H is approximately zero. Okay, so one thing is clear. One thing is clear. One. So, beta h is not equal to zero. H h should be positive, but h is yeah. But the h is positive necessarily, but h is not equal to zero. But h is approximately zero. Yeah, h is also less than zero and h is also greater than zero. But but by minute change, not exactly. Okay, yeah, you are also correct. Okay, beta. any doubt for text any doubt okay but i just say cons any doubt because that is very important thing and you have to also consider this in the first time 
that's the without just this mean of not one not two not three ritraj samita be majhe any doubt what are the message sir doubt here Lock beta any doubt? No doubt, sir. Okay. So I'm just starting the question. Question is that by using first principle. method find differentiation of fx is equal to xx by so guys do uh, you know very well ki sir first principle is so first principle is simply f dash x is equal to limit h is tending to zero f of x plus h minus f of x upon h okay so limit x tending to 0 fx is equal to xx square so simply x plus h ka whole square minus xx square and divided by x so using a square minus b square simply get x plus h Minus x, x plus x plus x, and upon x. So what we observe here, beta, x x get cancelled. So limit x tending to zero. This is x into two x plus x. Upon ka x, so this x and this x get cancelled. So limit x is tending to zero. Two x plus x and guys, that's totally clear. Two x plus x. So what the x is tending? X is tending to zero. So this quantity will be always zero. So the final answer will be two x. So by the helping of first principle, you have to prove any differentiation formula by this method. So sir, differentiation of sine x is how can say how how can you say that differentiation of sine x is cos x? So by the using first principle, we have to prove that differentiation of sine x is equal to cos x. So basically, beta, that is the very important approach. And this is across this called first principle method, yeah, delta method, yeah, AB initio. Okay, so I think that this is clear to all. Okay. But this is clear, huh? Any doubt? Any problem? Yeah. 
no doubt. Okay. Guys, try to solve this thing. Okay. Do it self. Try to solve it. Huh? Just better solve it firstly. Done. Peta, any reply? Guys, what happened? Simple beta f of x plus x minus f of x upon h. Simply use na. Limit is tending to zero. Sign x plus h minus 
sin x divided by x divided by x. So you have to simply sin c minus sin d formula. Beta, what is the formula of sin c minus sin d? Guys, do you know? Sin c minus sin d. Or a very simple formula, beta. Sin c minus sin d. So simply, beta. Sin c minus sin d. So simply what? Sin c minus sin d is two sin, है ना? C two sin c minus d by two cos c plus d by two. Okay. So two sin h by two. Okay. Into cos x plus h by two. Okay, बेटा. And divided by divided by h. Divided by h. Okay. So do you know very well? The limit x tending to zero sin x upon x is equal to one. This is class eleven formula of limit. Class eleven limit formula. Limit x tending to zero sin x upon x is one. But here x is tending to zero. And this is h by two. Guys, this is h by two. So simply, beta. So just to multiply by two, divide by two. Okay. So from this thing is. This thing is what? This thing is one. Okay, one. So finally, limit h is tending to zero. This is and two to get cancel. So simply, beta one cos x plus h by two. Okay, and h is tending towards zero. So simply, you can consider beta. This is zero. Okay. So finally, this is equal to one cos. This is your answer. But this is very simple formula. Limit x tending to zero sine x by x is one. Got it? बेटा क्लियर क्लियर ना सो बेटा वी कैन वी कैन वी कैन डिफरेंशिएट एनी फंक्शन एनी फंक्शन By using first principle method or delta method or AB initial, so we can use we can solve any question by this first principle any question. Okay, so simply, beta. Just one more, one more question. Only one question. Y is equal to tan x. So just differentiate it by the first principle. Just differentiate it by the first principle. Ask beta.
not going to give me instruction. But I got it or not? Simply divide by dx is equal to limit s tending to zero. Yes, x is correct. Correct answer. Line. F of x plus h minus f x upon h. So that is equal to simply limit s tending to zero. Then x plus h minus tan x upon h. So do you know very well tan c minus tan d? Guys, uh, do you know tan a minus tan d? So guys, the formula is that. One important formula is just uh, class 11 for tan a minus b. So tan a minus b is tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a into tan b. So finally, beta, simply tan a minus tan b is equal to what? So tan a minus tan b is equal to tan a minus b into 1 plus tan a into tan b. So using this result, so simply beta, simply what we get here, simply limit S tending to zero tan a minus b. So tan a minus b is simply tan of x plus h minus x into 1 plus tan x into tan x plus h or divided by divided by x divided by x simply so guys here simply limit s tending to zero this is what this is tan x x can see tan h into s tending to zero here so simply tan x into tan x is one plus tan s plus Okay, and upon x. So one important formula in limit, limit x is tending to zero, limit x tending to zero, limit x tending to zero, tan x upon x is equal to one. So simply beta, this is, is one. So finally, we get 1 plus tan s square x, and this is finally equals to 6. That is your answer. So by this method, you can differentiate any question. Ah, but we don't use this type of method because that is too much lengthy and very time well, uh, very time taking method. Okay, now so that's why not take more time. So I think beta. I'm just getting some homework to you. Try to solve because this is not a tough question, but slightly lengthy by using first principle. Method, method to find to find a physics where where first question where y is equal to a to the power x. Question number two is y is equal to e to the power 2x
y is equal to a to the power x x square. y is equal to under root of sin x. So this is your homework question, beta. Solve it from home. And okay, so beta, thank you for today. Only beta, three lectures is remaining in differentiation. And after three lectures, differentiation is completed. Okay, thank you for today, beta. Thank you, sir. Thank you.